about my life that, that you don't know. Okay? So we came up with this. It's called the Santa Stories. And uh, look, there's Santa right there. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! And so I'm going to read this one. Based on the movie, I'm going to give some more information. Uh, and uh, Santa Paws, that's story number four. So let's go. Okay. So here's a picture, a drawing picture, that one of the elves made. Okay, and that's Santa Paws there. Okay, now we're going to read the story um, of Santa Paws. Okay. <laughs> well, children, uh, you all know Santa loves you. But Santa also loves animals. One of the greatest joys is, is taking my dog Snowy for a walk. Um, I'm going to tell you a story about Snowy. Um, every, every time uh, I, I have been away and come back home, Snowy always runs up to meet me and, and nearly knocks me over. Uh, he gets so excited to see Santa. Well, one day, I had been out helping my favorite charity, and when I returned home, I expected Snowy to come running up towards me, but he did not. No, um, he just sat there in the corner looking grumpy. But I went over to him and asked him why he was feeling so poorly, and when I tried to stroke him, he just turned away. That upset Santa. I asked Mrs. Claus what had happened to Snowy uh, to see if she knew why he was acting like this. She told me to come into the kitchen, and she would tell me. Well. It turned out that Snowy was upset because at Christmas, all the animals are left out and he wanted to be Santa Claus. Well, I, I thought what a great idea uh, this was and went back into the room and said to Santa, so I said to Snowy, what, what a kind dog you are for thinking of your friends. So from this day on, you will be known as Santa Claus. Well, he jumped up and, 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 and was, was waving his tail. I, I, I could see he was very happy. Well, this is, uh, right, Mrs. Claus, you have to, to make, make uh, uh, Snowy his own Santa suit and hat, and, and he will have to tell the elves to start making presents to all the animals. And here he is in his Santa suit and his hat. Now. So she did that, and... And we need stockings to fill for all the goodies. Uh, uh, we need new cages, new beds. Uh, the lists are endless, but, but we can do it, I told, I told the, the wife excitedly, thinking, thinking how happy all the animals would be all over the world next Christmas. Um, why didn't I think of this before, I thought to myself. Well, two days later, Mrs. Claus had finished making the suit, and we shouted for Snowy to come back and, and try it on. Well, his tail was waving so much, it was difficult to fasten the buttons. But we managed it, and Snowy went running over to the mirror to look at the reflection. He looked great. He had such a wonderful smile. He was so happy. Uh, when Christmas Eve came, uh, we loaded up the sled uh, with, with, with something for everyone. Uh, Snowy put on his Santa suit to become Santa Paws and jumped aboard. Are you ready to go? Asked Rudolph. I, I, I can't wait to get back so I can get my presents from Santa Paws. <laughs> Uh, I gave the command. Away, Dasher! Away, Dancer! But nothing happened. Um, all the reindeers were, were talking amongst themselves about what they might be getting from Santa Claus this Christmas. <laughs> Come on, you reindeers, I, I pleaded. Concentrate. The quicker we get going, the quicker we can get back and open your presents. Let's go! Well, we went speeding off and into the sky. Faster than we have ever done before. And, and before I knew it for the first time, I heard, ho, ho, ho! Followed by woof, woof, woof. <laughs> that was Santa Claus. He had arrived. So from now on, on Christmas morning, when you open up your presents, so will your pets. Thanks to Santa Claus. Wow, you like that?